What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Pokemon video. Uh, we're taking a short break from Hidden Fates. Uh, if you've been attending our live streams, uh, we recently wanted to start trying Giratina Garchomp. Seems to be the new fad, and everyone's mixing the inter deck, and I didn't have any in online. So we're going to be opening up one of these partnership tins so we can pick up. I believe these things actually give two, and you know, we also have one for IRL play if we decide we like the deck and uh we're also gonna be opening up another one of these tag team generations boxes had an extra one of these kicking around uh so we're opening up two kind of random products but uh should be good i think it has like a good amount of cosmic eclipse unified minds and then i don't know it's probably some random xy thing in there but uh all right let's get into this all right so we did get everything opened and here is a code card for the premium or generations because we can give that one out we just need the giratina garchomp one ah the the clay art shout outs to hernan who is a big fan of those our charizard breaks in i think i actually like this card i feel like it's a pretty well balanced you know Deals a good amount of damage, has an awesome ability, uh, but just has a high energy cost that kind of makes it not, you know, close to being super good, but not quite there. So in that respect, you know, we're just on the cusp. I feel like it's actually pretty good balancing. And here's the card that we were basically opening this for, the Garchomp Giratina. And we're going to try that out online to see how it plays. Here is a coin. And here we have the Playmats. I think this is... Definitely my favorite playmat uh, that came out with product in recent history. Uh, I definitely like it over the uh, Hidden Fates one, which was pretty disappointing. So we got a whole lot of packs, mostly Unified Minds, two Cosmic Eclipse, and then one Lost Thunder, which is nice, and one XY Evolutions. So we'll start off with this one, of course. And let's see what we can do. Hope everyone's having a terrific day. Here's an XY code. All right, let's see. Pidgey Odo Spirit Link. Porygon. Full Heal. Onyx. A Fairy Energy. Let's see, put this over here. Voltorb. Tangula. Poliwag. Ooh, Mewtwo Reverse. Pretty cool. And uh, Farfetch'd. I don't mind things being downgraded in rarity, but it kind of bugs me when things are upgraded. And uh, that's a good example of one. Alright, on to Lost Thunder. Still a lot of good stuff in this set. Even Uncommons. Ooh, Grafrig's not bad. Actually, a pretty annoying card against Malamar. Yamas yeah, Stunfisk. Such a troll Pokemon. Larvitar, Litwick, Chikorita, Shredinja. Oh, that's another troll one. Ooh, Naganadal. Naganadal Reverse. That's actually quite good. And uh, I, I keep doing the uh, Hidden Fates pack trick without even thinking. So these are, this is the rare slot and the reverse. Pretty happy about that Naganadal. Right now we have one IRL Naganadal deck. Zero online because we don't have the Naganadals. And that one is a Reshiram for the IRL side. It's not bad, but I think it's um, I think its weaknesses are that Reshiram does exactly 270 damage, which is just one short of a couple important matchups like Nuzgas or ADP, and the fact that um, at least my list, ooh, Trekian. The, Legendary raid that's going on right now, and then ooh, reverse cherish ball. Actually, we're doing pretty good. No like ultra rares, but getting very useful cards. Uh, what was I saying? The um, Naganadal GX that I run in there, as well as Savali, can be shut down pretty easily by something like Power Plants or Mimikyu. So I feel like there's pretty easy to disrupt that thing. Although the, the main engine is just not Ganadal. Alright, Noibat, very cute. Swaddle. Skaroopy. Wimpod. A Gumshoes is our reverse. Wow, another rare. Alright, our first ultra rare. And it is Mega Sableye Tyranitar. I feel like the 
The fact that they include Megas is almost kind of like random. There, it's not a Mega mechanic, but they just have the Mega Pokemon tag teams with something else. So the Mega part is just for the art and nothing really else as far as I can tell. Um, I feel like I've seen this card used in a couple of Dark Lists. But, I don't know, I've always been kind of underwhelmed by it. It does have ability to take more prize cards. But I think it's just okay. we on to some more Unified Minds. Definitely the biggest hit we would want is another Mewtwo Mew. Let's keep doing that. Alright, so as always, if you guys do want to support the I Want a Turtle TCG channel, which, uh... Shoutouts to Ricky, let us, he informed us that it's been over a year at this point. That uh, we, or it's been over a year since our first, we dropped our first Pokemon video. But uh, so it's been a great year, and if you do want to support, just hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. And uh, yeah, follow us on, join our Discord, follow us on Instagram, catch us on one of our live streams. Shout out to all the subs and everyone on the Discord channel. All right, let's see. Tranquil, Electric, Reset Stamp, nice. Execute, Grimer, Hoot Hoot, a Carablast, Hoon Edge, another Execute, all right, and a Latia. So does this one do 20, 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon? Get that Pokemon. Oh, interesting. Hmm, nah, you know, that's not useful. The stuff that's on your bench that's supporting usually doesn't have any energy on it. Except, I guess the exception might be Naganadal, but usually they're charging up to discard the energy. So it's not too difficult to work around that. Alright, so no major hits, but we're getting a lot of useful cards that goes into like the pile of cards that, you know, I might need these to make a deck sometime, so you're just going into that useful pile. Mana, a Pikachu, Lickitung, Formantis, and a Kangaskhan. Hmm, I can't remember the last time a Kangaskhan was like super useful. I feel like there's always some kind of draw mechanic and then some underwhelming attack that costs a lot. I do like how this one has the basically the Raichu tag team in the background. I think they've been doing that quite a bit in the last few sets. Alright, let's get at least like one uh, kind of like full art or better kind of card. That's our goal right now. Noctowl, Fletchling, Onyx, Fletchender, Snover, Murkrow, Hoot Hoot, yeah there's that Zapdos, and Crustle. Here is our last Unified Minds pack. Before we go to Cosmic Eclipse, that one does have some secret rares. In the reverse slot, we can also pull. Alright, Normalinium Z, Hapu, Magneton, Mana, Pikachu, Bidoof, Cosmog, Magmar. A Bebarrel, and ah, just a Salazzle. Very underwhelming card. Alright, moving on to Cosmic Eclipse. Yeah, not that great of an opening, not gonna lie. I guess, or, I guess the good news is we guaranteed our main prize in the Giratina Garchomp. But as far as the packs go, yeah, nothing, uh, nothing to write home about. But we got two left. Let's see if we can't. Clutch it up and get something good. Pig Knight, Zangoose, Cricketot, a Woobat, Ducklet, Helioptile, Cosmog, a Delmize is our reverse. Oh, nice! We did get a Rainbow, a Hyper Rare uh, Pokemon in Volcarona GX. I don't think I have this one yet. Let's see how the centering is. Pretty good. This one looks quite nice. Kind of, um, I really like the idea of this card, but I just feel like, you know, it just didn't do enough damage. Uh, I say this a lot, but I feel like if it was 30, it would have been much closer to strong, but not overpowered. But I do like the idea of it. Alright, on to our last pack. We did get our Hyper Rare, so we'll 
chalk this up to a good opening. One thing about when you open tons of hidden fates is then when you go back to regular sets, it's a little takes a little bit of a, a adjustment in expectations as far as the number of cards you pull for sure. All right, here is one of, in my opinion, one of the surprises in Cosmic Clubs Malolana. Very useful. Togedemaru, Absol, Dupider, Helioptile, Carvana, Tepig, Togedemaru again. Ooh, Gallade, we got a secret rare as well. Character rare, and this one looks pretty well centered. Very cool. And then just say Espeon. So that's it for this opening. I guess we can do a quick recap. Um, some, only a couple ultra rares, but we did get a secret Gallade, Malolana, which is useful, Volcarona, this is our main hit, very nice rainbow, Reset Stamp, Mega Sableye, Tyranitar, Cherish Ball, Naganade Alt Reverse, and then a Graph Rig, which is actually pretty nice to have, just in case. So, that's gonna be it for today, and oh wait, now we can finally use Gear Chain of Garchomp online to see how that... Uh, adding that Pokemon or that tag team into the list helps out. So that's it for me today. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. All down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.